this video is meant to familiarize the rider with the location of information and components on a Ranger 900. On the left side of the vehicle is a driver's seat side net, which can be opened by squeezing the latch on the A-pillar. The side net can also be adjusted by pulling on the straps. Once inside, you'll find the driver's seat, which can be adjusted by using the lever at the bottom of the seat. Once in the driver's seat, you will find the cup holder, tilt steering column, gauge cluster, and mode switch. On the center dash, you will see the shift lever, turf mode switch, light switch, key switch, power socket, and a storage compartment. On the right side of the dash is a glove box and a cup holder. Underneath the seats is a storage compartment and the fuse panel. Lifting the storage compartment out will give you access to the battery. The vehicle hood can be lifted by turning the quarter turn latches and pulling the hood back. Underneath the hood, you will find the terminal block, coolant overflow bottle, radiator, and the radiator cap. The brake reservoir can be found in the left front wheel well. The fuel cap is located on the left side of the vehicle. The front and rear suspension can be adjusted using the tool provided in the toolkit. The cargo box has tilt latches on both sides of the vehicle. Tilting the cargo box will give you access to the oil cap, dipstick, and other engine components. The tailgate can be lowered by pulling up on the latch. The VIN label is located on the right front vehicle chassis frame. The VIN is also stamped on the left rear chassis frame under the cargo box. Warning: Read all warning labels on your vehicle before riding. A detailed list can be found in your owner's manual. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.